Hey y'all, hey, welcome or welcome back to Tiffany with Purpose, where I provide faith-based content with purpose and inspire you to do the same. I always share according to what the Lord places on my heart. And today, y'all, this is a prophetic word, just talking about the time that we are in. So based on what the Lord revealed to me in my dreams last week concerning the bride of Christ and there being an outpouring of his spirit, I want to talk about the solar eclipse. So listen, back in October, the Lord gave me two dreams one with a solar eclipse and one with a lunar eclipse and they were a few weeks apart now me personally these are not things that I had ever paid any attention to before then and I'm going to post the video because I made a video about it back in October but I understand that the timing of that is now because what the Lord taught me back then was that there would be an outpouring of his spirit and here we are right now um where these things are happening again so there was a lunar eclipse last week and then there will be a solar eclipse next week but there's some specific things about this particular solar eclipse that we are going to experience in america at least and for that for you guys to get more information i am going to link a video to wellspring israel now the beginning of last year for whatever reason the lord kind of drew me into studying like the hebrew calendar and understanding all of the like feasts the festivals he just he just like really gave me this desire to know those things and then randomly at the same time that this grew up in me wellspring israel started being suggested on my youtube feed when that wasn't even something that i was searching up you know what I'm saying? So there is Dr. Jim and Debbie Lehman. They are a married couple. They do a Sabbath teaching every Friday, but it's it's really good. And they're also prophetic people. So they are very in tune with the times and seasons. And the Lord has used them many a times to confirm um, and glue together some of the things that he had been pointing out to me. They just posted this past Friday a video on this solar eclipse and there's some key things that are just like wow this is all making sense so go watch that video also give them a follow because psh, why not but I also want to say I did not re-watch that video that I created but I know that I mainly talked about there being an outpouring of God's spirit those things were so random those well seemingly to me I had the first dream towards the end of September in it I described what I saw two weeks later I think the Lord woke me up <laughs> I had barely gotten any sleep that night this is one of my most memorable memorable encounters with the lord and I, I know that it will always be because i remember getting sleepy that night before probably around eight or nine o'clock and i did not go to sleep i pushed the envelope i was up i don't even know what i was doing but i did not go to sleep i think that i went to sleep probably around 11 or 12 and i woke up up at one something in the morning and when i say i was up i literally woke up and was just like wow alert and when i looked at the time i was up set why am i up right now <laughs> lord what is going on and i tried reading the bible i tried praying i tried worshiping and like those things weren't cutting it so after an hour or two i didn't have my laptop with me and i went in the living room to grab it and he brought back that dream to me and he just said solar eclipse I was like, no way is this a solar eclipse. So I Google solar eclipse and the image that I saw in the dream that I described was the first image that popped up on the Google search. And I was like, whoa. And then I learned that there was going to be a solar eclipse that same weekend that the Lord had me up studying this. And I'm like, oh, this is interesting. And then two weeks later, I think I dream about in part of the dream, there's a lunar eclipse. This time, because I had done research beforehand, I knew in the dream that it was a lunar eclipse. Like my sister pointed it out to me she was like oh it's a blood moon and I looked out the window and I was like that's a lunar eclipse I will like to add because I don't think that I discussed this in the video that I made prior I would like to add that in both of those dreams a similar situation happened where the truth was being exposed the veil of darkness was being lifted and the truth was being exposed now in my dreams it was with regard to one particular person both times in both dreams but I understand this to mean that this is what the Lord is doing we we see that we literally see that happening right now so many so much evil right now is being exposed in in america in particular but also the lord is lifting the veil that the enemy has had over people's hearts for them to be able to receive him but in this also is going to be an outpouring of his spirit both times 
in both of those dreams there was the same person that this was happening to which is interesting okay so this person's name basically means hard-headed but their middle name means follower of christ a hard-headed follower of christ <laughs> This is just coming together in this moment right now. And so in both of those dreams with the lunar eclipse and with the solar eclipse, this person received revelation from the Lord through a dream. In the dream, they received a dream from the Lord. The Lord was giving them instruction, revealing to them his plans for their life. And so for that to be something that you're paying attention to that we are seeking God for to seek God for for clarity to seek God for his plans concerning all the details of your life to seek God for understanding on whatever things you need understanding on in this hour to expect that he is going to reveal these things but also now that you know it's happening anyway prepare your heart to receive that by consecrating yourself to him by getting in position by surrender okay letting go choose to say all right this is what i've done so far these are things that i know come from you these are things that i might be unsure about but i want to be sure and i want to with all that is within me father i want to live the life that you have planned for me so show me what i need to do differently show me the way that I should go and just submit that to him in prayer and wait in expectancy for him to reveal and continue to press after it. Recently, something that I have been kind of letting sink in my heart, the Lord calls for his house to be a house of prayer, okay? His house is a house of prayer. And I've been praying, Lord, make me a house of prayer because I want to pray more. And I want to just have that mindset that my response every single time is prayer. That even before a response is required, that I am just praying that when anything comes up, I'm going to pray. I don't even know why I just said that because there, there is no end to that. I think the thing is to continue to pray. Continue to pray about the things. Continue to seek the Lord continue until you receive the answer and don't give up don't give up if you're not getting it as quick as you think because a lot of us a lot of us need to learn a little bit patience need to learn it just how to trust and follow God he does not move on our time he does not move on our time at all not even a little bit and so yeah sometimes there are times he will answer me right now in an instant sometimes it takes time before those answers come there have been things that he told me years Years ago that he made make sense recently so um, but anyway i just wanted to bring these things to your attention that's all i have happy resurrection day and on this day as you celebrate him just also speak to him about the things that may seem dead in your life lord by your resurrection power jesus bring to life the dead things in my life honor him with your heart honor him with your voice give him some praise give him some worship even out outside of church okay all of the things spend some time with them love on them good today all right you guys be great in the strength of the lord until next time